Hello everyone, welcome to GrowMed. In this video, we will look at some important images from the ENT. As image-based questions are very important and I feel that image-based questions are very easy to solve also because uh, by looking at the image, you are sure that this is the diagnosis and you can easily answer the questions related to that. And sometimes there are very easy questions asked in the FMG, only giving the image and asking what is this image. So image-based questions are very important and all the important images you need to look at so that your images will be correct and it will help you in scoring a good marks. So let's start the video. Uh, the first image is a very important image. As you can see here in this image, there is a glottis and it is omega shaped like this. And this is the classical finding seen with the laryngo malicia. So it is a pediatric condition and it is congenital. And another very important finding seen with this is the inspiratory strider. This question can be asked in relation to the pediatric also. And this image is repeated multiple times in the FMGE. So it is a must do topic. Then moving on to the next image, the etinoid facies. As you can see here, the mouth is open and uh, this particular face is called as the adenoid facies and it is due to the adenoid hypertrophy. So from the ENT, adenoid hypertrophy is also a must-do topic. I have already posted a video on the must-do topic from the ENT. So the link is given in the description box. You can watch even that video. Then moving on, the next image, it is the image of the blue ear, which is also called as serous otitis media. In this, you can see here there that there are fluid present in the middle ear. That's why this is called as a serous otitis media. Then next image, this is also a very important image and frequently asked. So it is a repeat image and you can see here that the foreign body, it is present in the esophagus. So it is a coin and from the front view, it is visible that it is a coin. So by looking at this, you will be able to understand that it is in the esophagus. But if it was in the trachea, in the trachea and from the front, it would look something like this. So... The foreign body in the trachea and the esophagus, how do we differentiate it? It is very important and this image uh, based question can be asked in integration with the pediatric or the radiology. And also sometimes question is asked that there is foreign body in the esophagus and the image is given and they will ask for the management. So how will you manage the patient? If the patient is having symptoms like the dysphagia or any other symptoms, then we will be immediately treating the patient by doing endoscopic removal or if the patient is not having any symptoms and the particle is small, then we will wait for 24 hours so that the particle will pass by itself and comes out from the GIT. So likewise, if the foreign body is in the trachea, then we will be doing the hemorrhage manual. So these were some important points related to the foreign body and it is a high yield topic. Then the next image, this is of the Quincy. A Quincy also a very important topic. So a repeat topic, every year a question is asked on this Quincy. So it is a must, must, must do topic. So as you can see here that the vulva is pushed medially, this vulva is pushed medially and there is unilateral swelling present. So this is the image of the Quincy. Then moving on to another very important image that is the traumatic CSF leak. This uh, image is called as the target sign or the halo sign and this is the classical finding seen with the traumatic CSF leak. So this question, uh, this image was asked in the recent Chan 2024 also. So ENT questions are mostly like the repeat questions so i feel that if you do ent very properly and if you focus more on the high end points then there are more chances that you may get all the questions correct from the ent then looking at the next image so this x-ray view this is called as the waters view and it is mostly used to look at the sinuses that is the maxillary sinuses so question is asked that uh, image based question can be asked giving an image and asking which view it is or image can be asked that the maxillary sinus is best visualized in which view so these were the two variant of the questions asked from the waters view likewise there is a peris view and this peris view when we keep the mouth open and take the uh, x-ray in the same position then it is called as the peris view then another two very very important images are the steeple sign the steeple sign and the thumb sign so these images are very important and can be asked in relation with the pediatric also so the first one as you can see here the steeple sign it is seen with the croup which is also called as the acute laryngotracheal bronchitis and this image as you can see here the thumb sign it looks like a thumb so it is seen with the acute epiglottitis so very 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 important images a five star images must do 
ठीक है देन अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इमेज इज दिस लेट गो सी सो एज यू कैन सी हियर दैट देर इज अ ब्लैकनिंग और शेडो सीन इन द एक्स रे सो दिस इज सजेस्टिव ऑफ अ लेरिंगो सील एंड इन द लेरिंगो सील दे कैन बी गिवन अ हिस्ट्री ऑफ ट्रम्प पेट ब्लोअर एंड देर इज यूनिटरल स्वेलिंग सो लेट्स लुक एट सम अदर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट रिलेटेड टू द ग्रूप एंड द अक्यूट एपिक्लोटाइटिस सो द ग्रूप इट इज कॉज बाय द पैरा इन्फ्लुएंजा वायरस एंड द ट्रीटमेंट इज सिमटोमेटिक दैट इज ह्यूमिडिफाइड ओ टू एंड द नेबुलाइजेशन एंड द अक्यूट एपिग्लोटाइटिस इट इज अ बैक्टेरियल इन्फेक्शन एंड इट इज कॉज बाय हिमोफिलस इन्फ्लुएंजा सो द क्लिनिकल फीचर्स विल बी द फीवर सो थ्रो डिसपेजिया और डिसपनिया एंड द ट्रीटमेंट विल बी यूजिंग द आई वी एंटीबायोटिक्स एंड स्टेरॉयड नेबुलाइजेशन सो दिस वर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स विच आर आज इन रिलेशन विद द ग्रूप एंड द अक्यूट एपिक्लोटाइटिस देन लेट सी अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इमेजेस दिस इमेज वॉज आज इन द रिसेंट जैन ट्वेंटी फोर एंड डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज आज गिविंग द इमेज विच इज दिस डिवाइड सो इट इज अ ब्लूम सिंगर प्रोस्थेसिस सो इट इज यूज आफ्टर laryngectomy for voice rehabilitation then this device elect electrolarynx this is also used for voice rehabilitation post laryngectomy then this image is of a ludwig angina in which there is the swelling of the neck so this image is also a repeat image and it is asked in integration with the surgery also then another very important image so this image also was asked in the jan 24 here two nodules are present which are called as the vocal nodules so these vocal nodules are most commonly seen with the teachers and in those who abuse their voice like who are continuously speaking and who are speaking with a high pitch so with them this condition is seen so this vocal nodule it is bilateral and it is symmetrical and the management questions are also asked on its management so we will be giving the speech therapy or the proton pump inhibitors So this is an image of the rhynchus edema. So this is the edema of the vocal cords, swelling of the vocal cords, and this is most commonly due to the smoking. So smoking is a risk factor for the development of this rhynchus edema. Then moving on to the next image, this image is of of the respiratory papillomatosis. So let's look at some important points related to this respiratory papillomatosis. So it is caused by the HPV virus six. and 11 and this can be acquired during the birth uh, from the mother if the mother is hpv positive then a child has a chances of getting this and the treatment is the surgical excision so the other name of this is the juvenile juvenile onset recurrent respiratory papillomatosis then moving on to the next image as you can see here in this image there is a polyp of the vocal cord so this is called as a vocal polyp and this is also due to the voice abuse so in singers or people who scream a lot or people teachers in them we can see this so the clinical features are the hoarse hoarseness of the voice and diplophonia so it is usually unilateral and pedunculated and the management is the microlaryngeal surgery then the next image this is an image of the maneuver and this is called as a cotley maneuver so it is done to look for the nasal obstruction the exact site of the obstruction so in this test we will be evaluating the cheek by gently pushing it laterally and by this test we will come to know the exact site of the nasal obstruction whether it is the valve which is obstructed or it is the nasal cavity then the next image this image is of the saddle nose so questions are asked giving the image and how do you treat this patient so so the treatment is argumentation rhinoplasty so that's it in this video so this was a short and a quick revision on the important images from the ent i have already posted a video on the important one liners from the ent so the link is given in the description box you can watch that video also thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video will be useful to you all for your preparation for the upcoming fmge like the video subscribe to gromed if you are new to gromed and share the video with your friends if you find it useful thank you so much guys bye bye